Many of you know me as Rick from HVAC Survival. You guys watch me run my service calls while I'm fixing heating, air conditioning, refrigeration equipment. And we spend a lot of time together on these videos. I feel it's time for me to come clean with you guys and share a little addiction I have. As you know, we work in some really dark places and the best way to combat those dark places is to bring a little light into the world. My addiction is high quality flashlights. I've been using Phoenix flashlights for a long time. As you may notice, I save every box that I get because I just feel as though it's part of the, the package, you know? I don't know what it is. The latest headlamp that I just bought was the HM61. It's a headlamp and a right angle flashlight, so it can be used as a headlamp and it also uses a right angle so you can hold it by your hand. It's got a magnet built into it, built in charging. Awesome flashlight. The one I use every day is a UC35. It has a built in charger in it. It's a thousand lume. I use it day in and day out religiously. I carry it in a Kydex case like that right there. This is the one that I first brought to work because I was too scared to take a high quality flashlight to work because I was afraid I'd lose it. That's the PD35 and this one here was 850 lume. My first dedicated headlamp is an HL60R, which is 950 lumens and has built-in charging. And I purchased two of the TK12 for personal home defense weapons. And why do I tell you this? Because I believe in the products that Phoenix puts out. They're affordable, super reliable, and you get a lot for your money. So I reached out to Phoenix for the first time and told him my story about how I really believe in their products, how I use them every day, and how I know they're a high quality item that I would like to share with my viewers. I don't come on here to just sell you guys things. What I do is I actually share with you the products that I use that I think might be beneficial to you. And to my surprise, they replied back to me and said, yeah, we'd love that. They sent me out the TK35 UE version 2.0 5,000 loom flashlight. This thing is crazy. So before I go into all the details of this flashlight and all the features and all those sort of things, let's get right to the point. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I did with this when I went out and tested it. Let's take a couple minutes here to look and see what this flashlight does compared to my head beams on my truck that has high and low LED head beams. Also what it does out in the backyard and across the field to the neighbor's barn and while you're out looking around. Why do I think these things are important? Well, as you guys all know, we're outside looking for addresses. We're up on roofs of malls. We're down in dirty, nasty crawl spaces. We're all over the place and we need something that's gonna come on, turn on and get the job done. Now this flashlight may not be useful during the day as a service technician, but the ones I mentioned earlier are. So if this one doesn't seem to be the one that you're interested in, you can always check out the other ones. But the point is, I wanted to show you guys that these are some different models they have and they've got a lot to pick from. Also where I purchased these at is gonna be down below also. And the store that I'm gonna recommend you purchase them from gives you 20% off your first purchase. So make sure you check them out down below in the link below. Now let's go ahead and look at the video that I shot earlier and then we'll review this flashlight. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a comparison. So I have LED high beams. There's how bright it is with just the car beams. So it kind of gives you a comparison of what that is. Now let's take a look and see what the flashlight is. Let's go ahead and turn off the lights for the truck and turn on the beams for the flashlight. You literally can see out in the fields. This is a small handheld flashlight, just so you can see that I'm not kidding here. Literally nuts. Okay, what I wanna do now is compare my UC35 Phoenix flashlight, which is right around a thousand lum. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot it straight over there. I'm on my brightest setting right now. And you can see the neighbor's barn over there. That is the UC35. Now watch what happens when we pull out the TK35 UE. We kick it on. Look at the difference there. That's just nuts. Here's a car going by to kind of give you an idea of what a car looks like that's going by. That's the car going by. There it is, what lighting it up. If you got somebody creeping in your property or if you're trying to find an address, whatever the case, you can light that baby up. So there's a scan, the TK35. Right here, you can do, you know, lowest power and easily read a book, whatever it is you want to do without blinding yourself. You can see it doesn't throw very far, but it does get out there. And then there's your second stage, third stage, fourth, and fifth. That's the full 5,000 looms. You've got your strobe. You're gonna blind anybody that's in a place that you don't want them to be. This is meant for tactical reasons, to blind your opponent and to give you the tactical advantage. All right, let's go ahead and take a little closer look here at the Phoenix TK35UE version 2.0. 
As you can see, the machining on this thing is smooth as glass. It has a total of three reflectors here on the front. And it has a handy dandy belt clip here on the side that's made out of spring steel. It also comes with the carrying lantern here. All right, we'll take a quick look here at the box. I'm not one of those guys that likes to get too fascinated about the box, but here's a few things about it. We have the limited lifetime warranty, five year uh, free repair. It's powered by two 18650 lithium ion batteries. The batteries are not included with this particular model. A lot of their other flashlights do come with it. This does not have built-in charging. However, it does have duty mode, tactical mode, the mechanical toggle switch, and then the instant strobe. On the back side here, under duty mode, we've got our strobe coming in at 3,500 looms, our eco at 30 looms, low at 350 looms, medium coming in at 800, high at 2,000, turbo at 5,000. Underneath the tactical mode, we obviously have the strobe here at 3,500 and the tacticals at 3,500. On the side here, we have a tactical mode switch. So putting it all the way to the right, puts it into the safety mode, lock mode. So if you click it on, nothing happens. The button sits there and blinks at you, nothing turns on. So if you've got this in your gym bag, your bag, whatever the case, it's not gonna come on and run your batteries down for no good reason. But as soon as you flip the button to your duty mode, it instantly comes on in the last segment that it was in prior to. The way you advance to the next brightness is by hitting your button here, it steps it up to the next, to the next, to the next, and to the next. If you wanna go into strobe while you're in this mode here, you just hold it and it instantly goes into strobe, and it again to come out of it. Turn it off, hit the button there on the back end. Now it does have a momentary button there on the side, so if you hit the button just slightly, it comes on, turns off. Or like you'd imagine, you hit the button and it locks it on. Once again, cycle through the different modes with the button on the back. If you're in a high mode, you turn it off, it goes right back to that on mode again, where it was at last. Now, when you flip the button over to tactical mode, the flashlight ignores all those different settings for brightness. Now, when you push the button on the back, it goes right into 3,500 looms and out of it again. If you used to hit the button on the back, it goes right into strobe and back out of strobe. There is no in-between or anything like that. It's one or the other. So basically, you have two different settings here on the back while you're in the tactical mode. Or you can do a half press, momentarily on or lock it in it locks in pretty simple pretty easy to understand you just play with it a little bit and you're good to go uh, looking inside here you unscrew it you'll see the manufacturing is really top notch it's got the gold plated uh, contacts here on the inside everything's machined with the top quality components the batteries i was using with it this time was the 3500 milliamp hour batteries this is what I use in my everyday carry flashlight. They do have 18650 batteries available that have a USB plug right on the side that you can put them right into charge mode that way. If you take a look down there, you can see it's gold plated down on the inside on the springs. Now it does come with a holster for your belt or your backpack. It has the uh, belt loop here on the back side. You can open it up and Velcro it on your Molly. I don't usually use the strap there, but it kind of comes in handy. There is a battery indicator light on the end here where you select your modes that you're in. When you hit the power button, turns on, you'll see a green light there that's telling us that we're between 85 and 100% battery life. Then if it starts to get down to 50 to 85%, it's gonna flash green. The next step is gonna be 25 to 50%, which is gonna be red. All right, so now you want one. Let's go ahead and check out the price for you. Currently on phoenixstore.com, they're running $139.95. Now make sure you're getting version 2.0. If you don't get version 2.0, you might be getting the first generation, which was only 3,500 loom. If you're a first time purchaser, from them, you can get a 20% off, which would knock it down to $111.95. And they have free shipping. They also are the authorized warranty place for doing the repairs. That's the reason why I like doing business with phoenixstore.com. Now, like I said, you're going to need two batteries, which are the 18650s. You're going to need a charger for them, or you can buy the batteries that have the built-in USB uh, charging port on them. Because this video is going to be out for quite a while and prices change currently, uh, the 3500 milliamp hour battery does come with a USB uh, port built right into it, so you don't have to have the uh, external charger. Uh, but with a 20% off discount, you could be getting it somewhere around $21 after the rebate. Otherwise, you're going to need an external charger, which is extra cost. If you're interested in some of the smaller flashlights like I carry for during the day, those are usually available with a battery included and the charger ports built into them. So it really depends on what you're wanting to do uh, with the light. So everyone has their own particular needs and desires. So 
those are the things you need to look out for. But like I said, phoenixstore.com is who I've gone to. Links down and below. Check them out. I'll also leave a couple links to some of the other flashlights I currently use. You guys can read through the site, check them out. I appreciate everyone taking the time to watch the video. Thanks a lot. Consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Coming to you live and direct here from downtown nowhere land. It's the Phoenix TK 35 UE 2.0. All right, that's right. Get your flashlight that'll knock your socks off and blind your neighbors. We've got a little something for everyone out there, so sit back, relax, and make sure you grab your popcorn and get ready for the show. It's time to get energized.